From a frog that can fly through the air to a frog with claws like Wolverine, these are the strangest amphibians in nature. Don't forget to click subscribe to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you know when we post new videos. Number 14. Wallace's Flying Frog Scientifically known as Racophorus nigropalmatus, the flying frog is an amphibian air traveler. The parachute frogs inhabit the Malaysian and Borneo jungles. They live exclusively in trees, only descending to mate and lay eggs. When they feel threatened, the frogs leap into the air and splay their webbed feet, helping to keep their flight. They are bright green and yellow colored with oversized toe pads, helping them land softly and stick to tree trunks. Number 13, Pac-Man Frog. The Pac-Man frogs, scientifically called Ceratrophus, feature varieties of colors and they are also known by differing names. They are also called horned frogs, Argentine frogs, South American horned frogs, and ornate horned frogs. They are most commonly known as Pac-Man frogs because of their large mouth and round shape characteristic mm -hmm. of the video game character. About eight species of these frogs exist, and the females typically don't croak or chirp as often as the males. The males also have spotted chests, and they develop fingers or pads at about one year old. Sometimes, the males also formulate subtle pads at the front of their legs during mating season. The frogs also have sticky tongues that they use to catch prey and reel into their jaws. Number 12. White's Tree Frog The White's Tree Frogs are also known as the Dumpy Tree Frogs or Australian Green Tree Frogs. They conjure up images of Jabba the Hutt, and the frogs can grow up to four inches long. They are native to Australia, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia. Generally, the frogs vary from green to brown dorsally, but a few might have a jade or turquoise appearance. They may also have tiny white speckles on their backs, and just like many tree frogs, the whites can change their color based on environmental conditions. It's an entertaining sight watching these frogs eat because they will lunge at their prey at lightning speed and use both hands to gobble up big meals. The females lay their eggs in temporary pools created by the wet seasons, and frogs in general are known to keep regular checks on their offspring. If food ever becomes scarce, the mother deposits unfertilized eggs for the offsprings to eat. Number 11. Glow-in-the-dark frog Scientists in Argentina stumbled upon frogs that glow at twilight and under the moonlight. Only a very few species of birds and insects exhibit fluorescence, but it had never been reported as a trait of any of the 7,000 amphibian species. The team discovered the glow-in-the-dark frogs just last year in the outskirts of Santa Fe, Argentina. Better known as the polka dot tree frogs, the amphibians have translucent green skin with red dots. The frogs apparently perceive brightness and use the fluorescence as a way of locating each other as well as interspecies visual communication. In fact, frogs in general feature all sorts of colors and the vibrantly colored tropical ones keep predators away who perceive them as poisonous creatures. Number 10. Nectophrinoides viviparis When a frog is so bizarre looking that it took scientists a while to name it, it says a lot about the amphibian. The new Nectrophrinoides species is still under study by researchers at the Natural History Museum, London, and in Italy, but it's also called the Morogoro tree toad. It's one of Tanzania's 15 amphibian species that just recently got discovered. These toads are quite massive, but the biggest known frogs are still the Goliath frogs. Number 9. Pinocchio Frog it's clear to see where this little guy got its name, and the tree frog is among the set of 2010's newly discovered species found in Indonesia's Foja Mountains. It has an impressive appendage which points upwards when the male frog calls out, and it deflates when the frog is less active. Herpetologist Paul Oliver accidentally found the frog on a bag of rice in their campsite. While spike noses on frogs isn't all too common, most frogs have teeth only on their upper jaws, they use their teeth to hold on to prey until they can eventually swallow it. Number 8. African Albino Clawed Frog The African clawed frog spots three short claws on its hind feet, which it uses to tear its food. The frog species is native to sub-Saharan Africa and isolated regions in North America. All members of the Pipidae family, which the African clawed belongs to, are toothless and tongueless. The fully aquatic amphibians shove food into their mouths using their hands, and then a hyobranchial pump sucks it down their throats. 
These frogs often spot a greenish-gray hue, but there are albino varieties that are popular pets. The females fertilize eggs outside of their body, and their absurd mating ritual involves the male squeezing their mates until eggs come out. Even without vocal sacs, the males still manage to make mating calls, and the females also respond vocally. Number 7. Malayan Horned Frog The Malayan Horned Frog is a master of disguise and can blend in with leaves on the forest floor. It also has horn-like protrusions running from its eyes and nose. The frog is often found in damp leaf litter within the Southeast Asian lowland rainforests. Its ability to blend in with the vegetation works as a defense mechanism, helping it to stay hidden away from predators and also to sneak up on unsuspecting prey. The frog waits motionlessly for its prey to pass close enough before rapidly striking. It often feeds on insects and the occasional spiders, lizards, small rodents, and even other frogs. While it does look much like fallen leaves off of a tree, its side view makes it look much like a bat. Number 6. Suriname Toad The Suriname Toad, also called Pipa Pipa, doesn't only look absurdly odd, but also reproduces in a rather disgusting manner. It has an almost flat shape with minuscule eyes and no teeth and tongue. The toad taps two bones within its throat to produce a high-pitched clicking noise instead of croaking. Then there's its reproduction ritual, which is done underwater, and the female releases three to ten eggs at any instance. The eggs land on her back and become embedded in her skin, where they stay there until their tadpole stage only to emerge as fully developed toads. Female Suriname lay as many as 100 eggs that embed onto her back, and it takes 12 to 20 weeks before they fully form into young toads. Number 5. The Turtle Frog This amphibian looks much like a turtle that's been stripped of its shell. The Australian frog can burrow underground to call out for mates. Female turtle frogs lay their eggs within the moist sand below where they stay until they develop into frogs. While this frog doesn't look like it has much skin to begin with, frogs typically shed their skin at least once every week. Once the old skin is out, the frog then proceeds to eat it up. Number 4. Goliath Frog Also referred to as giant slippery frogs or goliath bullfrogs, these amphibians are considered the largest frogs in the world. They can grow to over 12 inches in length and weigh as much as 7 pounds. They inhabit small habitats around Equatorial Guinea, and Cameroon water is a vital aspect of their reproduction, much like other amphibians. The frog lacks a vocal sac. They don't produce mating calls like most other amphibians. The males create breeding and spawning formations using rocks. It takes 85 to 95 days for the larva to fully develop. The frogs can also live up to 15 years out in the wild, but in captivity, their lifespan can be as long as 21 years. Number 3. Black Rain Toad Scientifically known as Breviceps fuscus, this frog has quite an oddly fascinating face. It's considered the world's grumpiest frog, and it's related to the Breviceps macrops, which on the flip side is the world's cutest amphibian. The black rain toad is a burrowing amphibian known to dig six inch deep tunnels. It is native to Southern Africa and the two inch toad also puffs up when it's threatened so that it may appear bigger. They also might puff up when burrowing down to stop predators that are after them from pulling them out. The males actually hang around the burrow to guard eggs after mating. Number two, Wolverine Frog. The Trigobatractus robustus is better known as the hairy frog, horror frog, or wolverine. Its appearance isn't the only unsettling thing about it because the frog actually breaks its own toes when threatened to produce claws. The claws then puncture the toe pads on its hind feet and it uses them as a weapon. Breeding males develop hair-like strands on the sides that function as skin arteries, allowing them to inhale additional oxygen when guarding their young in the water. Number 1. Amazon Milk Tree Frog The Amazon Milk Tree Frogs are grayish in color and also feature black or brown banding. The color contrast is more prominent in juveniles, but it fades as they mature and their skin also becomes bumpy. They are sometimes also called Mission Golden-Eyed Tree Frogs because of their golden iris. They lay as many as 2,000 eggs in water bodies or leaves, which start hatching after a day. The tadpoles reach full maturity in just three weeks. 
Interestingly, there are about 5,000 frog species across the world and each has a distinctly unique call. They also don't drink water and get all the hydration they need by absorbing it through their skin. Thanks for watching! Coming up next, mysterious tiny mummies and skeletons. There was an addition to the list of mysterious tiny mummies when a strange tiny skeleton was found in Atacama Desert. This skeleton named Atta looked nothing like a human being. It had an elongated skull, a deformed face, 10 ribs, and a body that was only 6 inches in length. After its initial discovery, it was a